Hi everybody, it's me Kristen. I'm just here giving another symptom update and um if you haven't been watching my other channel, um I got a new job with um schizophrenia.com so um I'm gonna be a video blog reporter there. So um yeah I'm really excited about that so I'm feeling good because that really like changed my whole like outlook. So I was feeling kind of well my old job I was feeling really um like every time I would go in there I'd feel really anxious and like dreading going in there because things were not going well and I was just getting yelled at all the time and um it was really bad for me and um I was having a lot more anxiety and like feeling trapped and stuff like that so um and then when I got fired I didn't really feel that great but I did feel a relief you know that I wouldn't have to be dealing with that but then um you know when you get fired it's like I don't know at least for me I usually feel really bad and like I'm worthless kind of like I can never get a job and I can never hold down a job and um like nobody will ever understand what I'm going through and um like you know because like so much of our society is based on the work we do for other people like in our jobs you know and so um to not be successful in that arena for whatever reason whether it's because of a interpersonal conflict or just because I have trouble showing up for work or because of my symptoms uh, or medications or whatever. Um, and, you know, it, it's just like really frustrating because a lot of people don't really understand what I go through and, um, and it's like so whenever I get fired from some place or, oops, <laughs> um, I'm just like, oh gosh, I'll never be able to get another job, and, you know, I get really kind of down, and, um, like, you know, I, um, thinking that my, that what I do is not valued, um, because I'm like the only thing that is of value um, in the world sometimes is just like warming a seat or something being there you know like for however many hours a day and it just doesn't matter what kind of work you do or how much time you put in outside of when you're supposed to be there but I don't know so I get like that and that's why it's it's difficult to lose a job even if you quit it's usually to the point where you're like so frustrated that you can't go anymore which was I was thinking about quitting anyway but um so but then on Friday I got this wonderful email and so now I feel very hopeful and um uh, my, this job is just like perfect for me because I don't have to show up anywhere. <laughs> um, I can just do all of my work from home and I can be with my family at this time and spend more time with my mom and dad and my cats and my friends and stuff like that. So, um, my cat's going to be really happy too because <laughs> he misses me when I go away. So, um, yeah, so... Um, so I'm feeling more hopeful and just like, I want to like knock on wood, I don't have any wood around here to knock on, but, um, to be like, I just feel really fortunate that I got this new job and, um, so it really is, uh, you know, helping my mood a lot and, 
um, I mean, it has been, like, a stressful week, so, um, but I think I'm doing okay, and I, oh, here comes Kiki, he's gonna probably step on the computer, no, I guess not, um, anyway, um, oh, in case you don't know, Kiki's my cat, he just walked by, so, <laughs> I guess people in this channel might not know that my cat's name is Kiki, so, um, yeah, so I'm feeling pretty hopeful, but just, I'm glad that this week is over, because it was a, kind of a roller coaster of a week, and, um, and then I did experience, I just was sleeping a few minutes ago, and, well, a while ago, more than a few minutes ago, but, um, I do have this strange experience when I sleep, um, my, my dreams are really vivid, and sometimes when I'm on the border between being asleep and being awake, I will see things or hear things that aren't really there, so, like, I woke up, and then I thought I heard my mom talking to my cat, but then she was, she's not even here, so I'm like, well, that's weird, why did I hear that, you know? <laughs> So, that was a really strange thing, but, um, I was probably still mostly asleep, because <laughs> I once, one time I also, um, oh, there goes my cat, <laughs> and one time I also was, like, half asleep and half awake in, in bed, and I was, like, laying down, and I was, like, really ready to fall asleep and I sort of half opened my eyes and I thought I saw this huge giant spider but I mean I, it was like in my dream or dream wakefulness whatever it was like huge like about a foot it was like the biggest spider I've ever seen in my life but of course it wasn't real because spiders don't exist that are that big so um, anyway, so I don't know if those are actual hallucinations or, like, dreaming hallucinations, because I don't really have hallucinations when I'm awake, um, that I know of. <laughs> I know that sounds weird, but I mean, if I was having hallucinations, would I know that they were hallucinations? Because I don't really think that most of my symptoms have to do with having delusions, so... And then I just wonder if I've ever really had hallucinations, because I'm not really sure if I have or not. Because I'm not, you know, because if they were, would I recognize them is the problem. So I'm not really sure if I ever have. So, um, anyway, so that was just one thing that was weird today, that I thought I heard my mom saying my cat's name, but I think it was because I was half awake. <laughs> so... Hopefully I'm not having any hallucinations. That would be bad. Um, I'll keep you informed about that, definitely. <laughs> and I'll have to ring up my doctor. Um, I'm having hallucinations. Can you have my medication? <laughs> um, but I've never really had that those hallucinations before, so I don't really think that's what they are. Um, anyway, um, I'm feeling good. I'm really hopeful, and I'm looking forward to my new job, and... I'm really looking forward to the holidays um, because I happen to like the holidays. It's because my family. It's not really stressful. It's pretty relaxed. So anyway, that's my update for now. Thanks for listening, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.